G'day and welcome to Conspiracy. My name's Josh Wade. I got my hair out this week. I'm looking like Ellen DeGeneres circa 2003 as a brunette. Let's fucking play the intro. Three millimeters, he got four individuals. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. I'm with you, the American people. A new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. Now we are in danger of being swamped by Muslims. <laughs> Today's story comes from 10 Eyewitness News Adelaide. Are they reporting on the big stories? Sex trafficking, oil, all those other bits and pieces. Getting bombed as a fucking six-year-old in Syria? No. Let's talk about two 14-year-olds being dickheads on the road. A pair of reckless riders have posted video online of them flouting the law in front of police officers in Adelaide's southern suburbs. Flouting the law? That sounds like fucking something I do in the shower every night when I do that thing where I stick my finger a little bit in my bum hole, tickle it while I'm coming. Flouting the law. Give that a go. Road safety authorities also alarmed by the risk of injury they pose to themselves and others. Chloe Boris reports. Chloe Boris, you poor bloody thing. You think you're going to be going over and doing reporting in bloody Afghanistan and talking about corruption in trade unions and all the other bits and pieces, yet you get put on the job because Tristan and Joseph have done a wheelie in Adelaide. Fuck me dead. Up on one wheel and veering over to the wrong side of the road. Veering? Veering. Veering. Veering over to the wrong side of the road just ahead of a major southern suburbs intersection and directly in front of police. Directly in front of police. That's not dangerous, that's just fucking ballsy. Good on you lads. Now, let's find out what some middle-aged woman has to say about it. It's not only illegal and unlawful, um, it's downright stupid and reckless. This poor woman's left her bloody job to talk to 10 Eyewitness News Adelaide to state the fucking obvious. You know what, at first I hated you, but now you're the only person that's speaking fucking common sense in this video. A helmet doesn't offer full protection. People can be hospitalised with broken bones. Um, if they hit their head uh, hard enough on the ground, they can be concussed. There's a whole range of things that could have happened here. Fuck me dead, I've never heard anything so much more brain numbing than this stupid shit. This is more than stating the obvious. This is like going, if you don't eat food, you'll get hungry. No fucking shit, cunt. Local residents say they've seen their fair share of car and motorcycle crashes on this road. Poor Chloe has had to go to the fucking location of the crime. Then they had to go to the other lady because they're assuming all their viewers are thick as fuck and don't know that if you don't wear a helmet, you'll probably fucking die. Please, for the love of God, don't interview anyone else about this stupid fucking story. This is very stupid for the young ones to do this and that's uh, very dangerous too. Oh, that poor lady got coaxed into that. She don't give a fuck. He checked out the road, it was clearly clear, so I say let him have fun. Oh, thank fuck for that. The only bloody reasonable voice in the video and they didn't even share his bloody name. I want to know who you are, mate, because I want to give you a high five on the cock. Congratulations. Thanks for having some common fucking sense. The road surface is an unforgiving surface, so even if it's just a case of being stupid on your own and causing yourself to crash, there are still inherent dangers there. Well, let them fucking do it. That's life. You fuck up, you do something stupid, you get hurt. That's how it fucking works. Careless riding can incur a $2,500 fine, but police say this rider wasn't penalised. So the best part about this story is, is that the cops didn't even give a fuck. The cops didn't even speak to the cunts. Ten Eyewitness News went to more of an effort to fucking create outrage out of this than anyone else did. They interviewed multiple people, right? And then they went and got a journalist and paid her to go out and do a story on this. This isn't the news. This is below fucking a current affair. At least they do carhoons. This is a fucking 15 year old, 14 year old kid on a fucking bike. This is not the news anymore. This is the fucking crime report with the weather. And when there's not enough crime, you gotta pick on a dumb kid doing dumb shit. I think what's worse is that they've made that news story and now I've wasted fucking half an hour of my day making my own video on them making the fucking news story. If there is a summary of what mainstream television news is in 2017, this is it. This is it. These are the same people that told you what happened in 9-11 and now they're fucking talking about Tristan doing a wheelie in front of the cops. The game's up. We know it's rigged. It's all over. And they're not even hiding it anymore. They just know their fucking platform sucks. If there's one thing you take from this video, please don't fucking watch 10 Eyewitness News. I'm genuinely disheartened by the state of society. And that's why I'm growing my hair out to be fucking Ellen. I don't even have a fucking conspiracy on this one. I just think fucking cunt's fucked. I'll see you next week.